you just got to hit subscribe. People, my people, I have reviewed well over 100 gins. So why not make a gin? So let's jump right into making my own version of Boat Rocker's Jungle Gin. So maceration gins, are, for those of you who are new to the idea of gin, is basically a gin where you soak the ingredients or your botanicals into your alcohol. Now, as you have just seen, I'm using Spiritus Rectificasi, which is from Poland. It is the closest I can get to a pure alcohol. At 95%, it's that pure, it's got a little health warning on it. And like I said, this is the base spirit that I will be using. So what I've done is picked up a uh, bottle of Ikea. And I'm going to basically drop the uh, half liter into the um, jar. Now this stuff is significantly purer than swabbing alcohol. For God's sake, do not have a, ma a match around you at the time of doing this. So that's my base. What I'm gonna add is some lemon peel. I mean some, some ginger that I've uh, pre-sliced because the jungle gin from Boat Rocker was really big on its ginger. So just dropping that in, a couple of slices of that. This happens to be, I think, a slightly uh, young ginger that I got from my local greengrocer this morning. So I want plenty of burn. I am also adding fresh lemon peel, taken off um, lemons this morning, because I want the, the citrus in it. So it's gonna be a nice citrus for it. I'm gonna dump some of this in here. Some of that. My uh, darling wife loves a nice citrusy gin. And then we both know that it can't be juniper. No, it can't be a gin unless it adds juniper. So I am going to go, hopefully, well, we'll turn that to be quite hopefully, light on the, on the juniper. I'm gonna slightly bruise them as I drop them in because that way all the beautiful juniper resiny goodness um, will get out. So I'm basically just squeezing them between my fingers. Hopefully doing the right thing. It's going to end up completely undrinkable in a couple of months. Um, in which case it'll be a video on how not to do it. So, yep. Um, I'm going to go a couple more of these. I think I say just basically um, brewing it bruising them, slightly breaking them open. That way all that wonderful stuff that makes gin so wonderfully ginish can get into this. Now the Rectified Vite Spirit costs me about $80 for half a litre, so it is hideously expensive. Um, but like I say, is that because um, I don't have my own still yet, um, that's gonna be very much tapped for Father's Day. What I've done is got the closest I can to pure alcohol. I have used this particular spirit in the past. Um, and yeah, the health warning is on it for a reason. It's two and a half times proof. If you are dumb enough to uh, basically drink this neat, it will kill you on the way down because it will literally burn your throat. So that's the juniper going in. And now I'm going to add the coriander, which will go in neat. And before I forget, a massive thank you to Dave and Dean from Organic Bay's Distilleries, who um, label you saw at the beginning of this. They are the ones who provided me with all the botanicals for my um, my dry gin. Now I'm going to go light on this because I do want something that's drinkable at the end of it. So basically, that's the um, maceration. I'm not going to hit it with anything else because I just want it to be a nice dry gin. And this is going to sit on my bookshelf for a couple of months to basically macerate, which is basically to um, get all the beautiful botanicals you can see in here um, 
into the need alcohol because alcohol is quite the organic solvent. So we'll see how this goes.